Let's, let's take a look at things here. Obama has rewarded the United Auto Workers. He refuses to blanket waive the Jones Act, which would allow foreign assistance with the oil spill. The Jones Act uh, is, is routinely waived in mass in emergencies like this. The Jones Act requires American union workers on projects like this. Uh, Obama is not waiving it. So we have refused expert help to, to stop the flow, to clean up the mess, all to protect unions. Um, he has placed union activists on the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board. And as Secretary of Labor, a former congresswoman, he has used the stimulus bill to pay the salaries and benefits of state and local government employees, especially NEA members, the teachers. And now... He and his party with some moronic Republicans, there are seven, six or seven Republicans going along with this, are attempting to expand public sector unionism by imposing it on states and municipalities that have not permitted their civil service public employees to unionize. Chris Christie is in the middle of this in New Jersey. He's fight, he's beating these people back. The latest polling data out of New Jersey is 51% of the people there support what Chris Christie's doing. It's all he needs. 51%. And in the process of trying to clean his state up, here comes the Democrats and Obama and six Republicans. Despite all of these unfunded pension and health care benefits, the taxpayers are going to want to have to want, one day have to deal with for the public sector. Now... They are going to expand, impose actually on, on, uh, on states and municipalities that have not permitted their civil service public employees to unionize. They're going to, they're going to demand that they unionize them. Just demand it. And there are six or seven Republicans going along with it. Now you look, look at the courage of New Jersey Governor Christie. He is having to battle these public sector unions because they have substantially contributed to the financial demise of his state. Yet the federal Senate and at least six Republicans want to impose on states that do not follow these irresponsible practices the kind of financial chaos experienced by those who do and by the federal government. And under what constitutional authority, under what logic should this be tolerated? I mean, it's, it's, this is, it's absurd.